Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel, Queen of the Trades. So I have a twin flame reading for you guys. Um, I've been seeing 11-11 a lot. I've been seeing a lot of synchronicities. Um, I also have another angel message video that I'm going to post out. Um, in case you guys have been seeing synchronicities or the numbers 11-11 or 222 or whatever numbers you've been seeing. But I've been seeing like 2s, 8, um, 11, 14, 14, 17, 17, stuff like that. Um, and I know that when I see those, I'm supposed to put out um, some type of message or video. But sometimes I just be kind of lazy a little bit, but I'm going to just stick to what I'm supposed to be doing, I guess. So this is going to be the 11-11 twin flame reading. Okay, focusing on the current energies of the divine masculine and feminine. So I know I just did one, but, um, you know, everybody's situation is different. So let's get, um, let me see how I'm supposed to do this spread because I only did it once. Sorry. Okay. This is why I decided to do all this off camera. I really do. It can be a lot, but you know, you guys get to see the process. The star card might have to come out, but if it come out again, we'll see.
Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, okay, we definitely have the Page of Wands. So this is all about taking action or beginning to take action. Thinking about take action. Thinking about starting to take some type of action um, in this situation, okay? So there's ready to be some movement going on, okay, between the twins, that's for sure. So let's go right on ahead into the Divine Masculine's um, current energy. So the masculine has the four cups and the um, wheel of fortune. Okay, so I feel like the masculine's current energy right now is, you know, he's thinking about making some type of offer here. And, you know, I feel like he has the back end of the divine behind him. Um, his current energy, yeah, he wants to make some type of offer. He's contemplating it. So he's sitting, I feel like the masculine is more so in a spiritual kind of moment, okay, being by herself, um, with him in spirit, okay, and, you know, sitting down, contemplating some things, contemplating on, um, you know, what can, what should he do? Yeah, because he doesn't want things to end in this situation, okay, with the divine feminine and I feel like he really wants to move forward passionately, okay, with this Knight of um, Wands. So, yeah, he doesn't want things to end, um, and he wants to move forward passionately. As I said, a lot of action is definitely about to be taken here. So, about the wheel. Yeah, this is his deep sub subconscious self, okay? Spirit is definitely talking to his subconscious here, okay? He definitely needs to put an end to something or stop being in denial or stop being, um, yeah, he definitely needs to put an end into something here and express his emotions, express his love or something like that, okay? But subconsciously, he knows that and this is the reason why he's sitting here contemplating with this Four Cups energy. So let's see what the Divine Feminine Current Energy is. We have the Four of Cups, Four of Pentacles, okay, um, the Eight of Cups, and, and the Queen of Wands, okay. So I feel like this Feminine, you know, is definitely in her, um, you know, I kind of feel like this Feminine is definitely holding back her energy from this Masculine a bit, okay. She's feeling a bit withdrawn. She's feeling a bit isolated. Um, and I kind of feel like she's afraid to go with what it is that she wants to. But she also is sitting pretty in her queen of wands energy. You know, feeling herself, feeling attractive. Um, you know, holding back. I feel like she's withholding all her energy from the masculine and focusing more on self. She definitely has a lot of passion built up inside her, that's for sure. And I kind of feel like she's definitely holding back or holding holding back a lot of passion. Something about that one. Okay. Yeah, so she's definitely in isolation right now. Um, more so to herself and because she don't want to make any moves that is rash or she don't want to make any negative moves. You know, she don't want to be in any argument it's it's like state she don't want to be in any you know any states where shit is disruptive she want to be in this happy you know state where she's able to heal from certain situations and she's having hope you know while she's doing it and she's she's holding back her energy and she's more so focusing on herself and having hope here Yeah, holding back her energy about the relationship. Yeah. Holding her energy back. With the lovers card and the um four pinnacles. So we guys can see. She's thinking about the memories, thinking about the past, thinking about the memories of her and, you know, the Divine Feminine. Thinking 
I mean, masculine, thinking about, you know, how attractive she used to be, how, you know, she used to go at the widow voice that she went passionately. And she's wondering, you know, when this masculine is going to accept this offer or she's contemplating even making an offer as well. So both divine masculine and the divine feminine are mirroring each other in that sense, okay? Um, but I feel like she's thinking clearly about the decision that she needs to make or the decision that she needs to accept here with this King of Swords. But she's in a clear logical space here. Um, nothing too crazy. Like I said, she's not trying to make any crazy rash decisions, you know, off the muscle. She's just trying to, you know, be calm about the situation and, or whatever the case may be and just focusing on herself. Okay. So that's their current energy. So... The uh, masculine is the way that he feels about his feminine here is um, okay. So we have the three of swords in the reverse. We have the magician in the reverse, and we have the two of wands in the reverse. So currently, you know, um, I feel like he's not taking any action, and we see that right here in his current energy because he's just sitting here contemplating and. Um, you know, let spirit talk to his subconscious right now. So he's really not making any actions, making any moves here with this two of wands. Um, the timing is definitely off. You don't want to be manipulative in this situation. You don't want to be a trickster. Because remember in the last reading, we've seen that the masculines were trying to manipulate and trick the situation. It just, you know, it was just a whole big mess. But I kind of feel like um, he definitely want to come out of separation here with this two, um, two of swords. Three of Swords, but being in separation is definitely devastating him. Um, he feels like he feels like this feminine is not like moving towards him, you know, don't really want to be bothered, you know, because maybe she's so devastated. <laughs> but he knows that this feminine wants to come out of separation, but he kind of feels and sense our energy that it's just not the right time. Tell me about the magician in reverse. Yeah, so it's just not the right time. This um he's finally making a decision. He's feeling like, you know, he's making a decision to work on himself emotionally, okay? Um, but he's more so in this emotional, spiritual type space right now. Um, and I kind of feel like he wants to come and offer his cup of love, of romance, too, because he's deciding that this is what he wants to do. Um, and he's he knows that this feminine is definitely in isolation and is waiting for him to come forth with that, okay? Definitely. But I feel like this this masculine, before he can make any of these type of moves, he has to walk away from negative, um, toxic energy here, okay? In order for him to be happy. See, we have the sun. So he's definitely gaining some clarity right now um, while he's listening to his inner self. That he needs to walk away from negative, toxic things that's keeping him balanced. He doesn't want to, he feels like he doesn't want to manipulate the situation with the mass, the feminine anymore. He definitely want to um, offer his, his cup of love because he sees that he has a lot of emotions for her, okay? So he could be in this emotional state right now and decide to, you know, be withdrawn right now because he don't really, this is the kind of masculine who don't really want his feelings out like that or don't really like people to see him so emotional, he's not going to show his emotions in front of people. He's going to do it when he's by himself, okay? But he's, this is a, this is what he's experiencing. Two of Yeah, he don't want to play games anymore, okay? He's feeling like, you know, 
The game plan definitely needs to stop. The manipulation needs to stop. So this is how he's feeling about the feminine. You know, he don't want to play games with her anymore. He want to get equally in the situation. You know, he's dreaming about this. He's wishing that he could do so. And I feel like he's going to be putting in this effort and putting in this work. Okay. He's going to be working on making an effort. So he can give equally in a relationship. Um, I kind of feel like he may be doing it in some type of secret. He might be doing it in secret with the um, Seven of Swords. Definitely could be working on a plan in secret. This is him up here planning right now. Contemplating, planning, listening to his subconscious. But he doesn't want to play games anymore. Three of Swords, please and thank you, Holy Spirit. Two of Wands in the reverse again. Yeah. So he's feeling hurt, okay? He's feeling the pain of the Divine Feminine here. Um, and this is the reason why he's unable to take action because he feels the pain that... She, he feels her pain, you know? He feels the pain of the separation and you know, he's really hurt. That's the reason why he isn't taking any kind of action right now. He's trying to see things clearly from a different perspective, okay? And he's trying to contemplate. Same thing that he's on up here with his four cups. You know, so he's contemplating his emotions. Everything is running through his mind. You know, things like that. Yeah, I kind of feel like he definitely wouldn't rush forward towards his empress, though. He really is. Like, he's tired of being in separation, and he really want to rush forward towards his empress. But he's trying to think about the best way to do so. Yeah, the best way to um, reconciliation. You know, so he's not making a move right now, but he will. See, the two of ones is in the reverse now. He's thinking about how he can do that. Um, but we have spirit working on him, so that's a good thing, you know. It's really a good thing working on him subconsciously. Um, that's what we need to see. That's exactly what we need to see here. Okay. So the Divine Feminine, the way she feels about the masculine, currently. We have strength, and then we have the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like this feminine, you know, she has faith, okay? She trusts in the fact that her and this masculine... Okay, her masculine would definitely be able to work together, okay, work the situation out. You know, she trusts him and she trusts that he'll be able to work through whatever issues that he has. And I kind of feel like she, she trusts the, the process and that one day they'll be able to work together as a team. Yeah. She's contemplating some type of offer too as well with the Four of Cups. So they're both definitely marrying each other. She been contemplating love office, you know, but I feel like she's trying to balance some things out in her life. You know, things are, she feel like the masculine, you know, is thinking and contemplating and trying to balance some things out. Yeah, and she loves the masculine here with the Ace of Cups. She's ready to offer this couple love. She's thinking about this too with the King of the King of Swords. When we say this earlier in her energy, you know, thinking clearly and logically about the situation. Yeah, she has the strength. She she has the strength. She's she's strong. Okay. She, she believes that she's going to overcome and conquer over all, all the drama, okay, all of the competition. Like, she's going to trample the competition, okay, in order to get to her relationship if there's competition here. But she's feeling strong about the situation, you know.
Yeah, she missed her masculine here with the Five of Cups. And she's thinking about running, rushing forward too at times, you know. But I feel like she holds herself back because it's a burden, you know, being away from him. Yeah, on her mind, sometimes the feminine could be stressing out a lot, okay, um, when she's in the home thinking, you know, in isolation, because we see her in isolation right now, um, so she could be worried about um, stressed out about being alone, basically, um, and sometimes that tests her strength, the strength call came in reverse, you know, that tests her strength, but then she remembers this. You know, that she has the, the Queen of Wands energy. It's the same energy that's up here. You know, that she's in her Queen of Wands energy. You know, that she is this powerful, you know, what is it? This powerhouse, you know, that she she can get what she wants, you know. And the Queen of Wands get what she wants and go up the way it is that she wants passionately. So she can be back and forth seesawing because um, we did see the Two of Pentacles. So she could be back and forth seesawing. You know, between two energies, you know, and that's all um, reasonable here. But nonetheless, I do see her, you know, regaining her, regaining her strength and regaining her um, confidence back, even after, you know, feeling stressed out sometimes with being alone, you know. She regained her confidence back quickly. So the challenges, let's see, Divine Masculine's challenges, we have the Empress and we have um, the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So his challenges could be, you know, financial, being financially stable here, um, or he can have an Empress energy that's like a child's mother or something like that, okay? This could be like challenges in the situation. Tell me about the Empress, please. Why is the Empress and my masculine challenges? Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles at the bottom. We have the um, Seven of Swords in the reverse, Tower in the reverse, and we have um, Justice in the reverse. This is clarifying the Empress card. So I kind of feel like. Um, This could definitely be another female energy that's around him here. Um, another female energy that he does surround him. I kind of feel like the masculine definitely got caught up in some situation here. Um, could have gotten caught up in a situation, um, some type of legal situation, and... He doesn't want any tower moments to happen, okay, uh, in his situation. But another thing I'm seeing as well is that um, I feel like this man's going to kind of want to be honest with the Divine Feminine, okay. Um, he doesn't want anything to crumble in that situation. And I kind of feel like he doesn't want to lie in the situation anymore. Okay, he want to be, bring honest and truth. And then in some cases, I feel like this masculine is dealing with a comic person. Um, this masculine definitely got caught up dealing with the comic. And, um, but he doesn't want, like, he's not feeling the, uh, the effects of shit hitting the fan. Like, maybe he's trying to prevent shit from hitting a fan from crumbling down with the tower. Why's the tower in the US? Yeah. 
He wants to move forward to union. Okay, with his divine feminine. Or this could be a marriage that he has. Yeah, because he wanted to give equally in the situation, you know, in this in this um in this union. So in some cases this masculine could definitely be married to this he's comic a comic, okay? Who he doesn't want the tower to come down. Even though the masculine definitely got caught up in that situation. So the masculine is a force in this situation where they did it with a comic and you know they definitely got caught. Okay. I feel like this is the reason why they could be in this current energy with this contemplation and spirit definitely coming in to force them, you know, to see, you know, to force him to recognize his emotions, you know, because some of these masculines just wasn't. Like I said, they're really emotional right now in this emotional state. The spirit is definitely speaking to them. Definitely. Forcing them to see things that they don't want to see. Yeah, so I kind of feel like this masculine, okay, definitely wants to rush forward towards union with his um, twin here. I kind of feel like, you know, um, and if this is if this is a situation where I was saying that um, the masculine is definitely want to stop lying in the situation because we've seen this right here. Like, he doesn't want to manipulate the situation anymore. He feels devastated already, you know, that they, that he's even putting his feminine in, these, in this type of situation. But currently, he hasn't taken any action because, you know, he's trying to figure out the best course of action to take. Um, but if this is a situation where I was saying that he doesn't want to lie to his feminine anymore. You know, he doesn't want to lie. He wants to be honest. And he doesn't want... The tower to crumble down, you know. He doesn't want their foundation, the feminine and masculine foundation, to to break. Okay, and I kind of feel like you know he wants to rush forward with the Knight of Swords, you know, to union here and give equally in the situation. But we see it all that up here and how he's feeling about the feminine. Yeah, he wants to rush forward to union. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, so like I was saying, he was worried about his financial situation here. Um, he's currently thinking that, um, you know, financially, he don't really got it all together. You know, you're going to keep on pushing, but it's a lot. Yeah. If he is still looking for a karmic situation or a karmic, he sees, you know, that in the future, um, that this is going to bring, it's not going to bring about good, especially a divorce, okay? Because maybe he's going to have to kick out money to this karmic here, okay, with the Queen of Pentacles. And then we have the, um, the Queen of Swords in the reverse. In the seven of wands. So, yeah, he sees that it's not going to bring good anything. You know, he's going to be the one that's kicking out a lot of money. So, these are like challenges that, that he's facing right now. You know, financial issues. You know, not feeling good about a divorce or being in a situation where he's separated from a marriage due to financial issues. So this is his own challenges that he needs to work on. But we've seen that he was willing to put in the work.
tell me more about this Queen of Swords. So this Queen of Swords and this Queen of Pentacles keep popping up. This came up in the same reading, yes, um, I did the other day, in the challenges for the Divine Masculine. The same Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah, he's realizing that, you know, the challenges is, you know, trying to close the cycle, trying to close the juggling, you know, trying to balance things out and close the cycle here. Because he wants a commitment here with his um, empress, the um, divine feminine. Divine feminine is definitely, yeah, he's trying to close out the cycle because he wants a commitment here with his empress. Yeah. So this is definitely looking like a divorce or a separation from another situation or comment. Yeah. King of Wands came out again, okay. So he knows exactly what it is that he wants, okay. Um, he's very sure of what it is that he want here. Yeah, he doesn't want to be in a situation with this common person. Okay, he's trying to end it. This is a decision that he's trying to make. Okay, but I feel like he's trying to do this in secret. So he's trying to end the situation with the comic in secret. Before he can rush forward with his divine feminine. So the comic, even though we didn't really want to see the comic pop up in the reading, they, they always do, you know. That's just how it works. Okay. So he definitely, his challenge is really letting this other situation go. Figuring out how he can let the situation go so that he can be full and successful in abundance towards that, um, you know, with that feminine and some of them they all work they worry about money issues and they just want abundance and success and finances and they feel like that money is that money isn't going well. They'd rather be more well off than what they already are financially. But some of them are just dealing with it, you know, for the time being. So those are the masculine challenges. Let's see what the feminine challenges are. So we have the four wands and the sun in reverse. So this feminist challenge is, you know, is definitely, you know, trying to get to union. And I kind of feel like the feminine is kind of unhappy as well, you know. So what about the sun? Why the sun in reverse? Yeah, because she's unhappy about where the relationship is right now. You know, she's wishing for some more love to be expressed um, in the relationship. And the masculine is feeling it. You know, the masculine is feeling her burdens. The challenge is all the burdens. The masculine is definitely feeling her burdens here. Um, because he wants to express love. You know, he wants to work on to express love. That's what we've seen in the middle row. Tell me about the uh Yeah, so she's thinking clearly about the situation, you know. She's not trying to think too hot headed about it or whatever the case may be. Oh, that's what I meant to say. So, with this divine um, masculine one at the burden, he knows that he has to separate from the comic person or, yeah, he's going to be separated from his comic person. And he knows that it's not going to be good because his comic person is going to be pissed off. That's what it was. I couldn't get the word out and I was thinking it, but it just didn't come out. The comic person is going to be pissed off and it's not going to be good, okay? Especially if they have to go through some type of legal battle. That's what it was. Because the comic person is definitely going to be getting a, a lot of money from him. A con currently, a lot of money that he just don't really have right now. So he's focused and worried about all those different things. Okay, back to the feminine energy. Um, yeah, she's worried about, you know, when is she going to get her, her ten of cups? You know, her happiness. 
And I feel like the feminine is definitely, you know, watching, you know, spying, trying to keep tabs on the masculine. Okay. Um, you know, staying to herself, basically withdrawing her energy. This is what she's doing up here. Or it could be an issue where the ma the feminine can't really see what's going on with the masculine because, you know, she's in isolation right now, a.k.a. quarantine. So she don't know what's going on with him. I mean, she can sense it, feel it, but it's, it's more so having confirmation from him, you know, with the Page of Cups, him messaging her, you know, Letting me know what's letting you know, letting me know what's going on, you know. It don't take nothing but the text. Yeah, so we have the King of Pentacles energy coming up for her and her challenges. Okay, so she's pretty much confident. Like I said, if we have the Queen of Wands coming up again. So she's pretty much confident, self-assured, okay. Um, she got the sex appeal. She got the finances. Like, I feel like this feminine is doing okay, you know, or trying to keep up the appearance that, you know, she is okay so that she doesn't lose control, okay, with the um, the emperor being the reverse, okay. Um, she doesn't want to come off as too dominating or too overbearing. And that could be the reason why she's withdrawing her energy, from the masculine because she doesn't want to be, you know, too dominant about the situation. So I feel like she's just going to remain confident. Yeah, a simple message. Okay, the text message just came up. A simple text message. Okay, that's all it takes. But I feel like her and the masculine aren't in communication right now. You know, they're definitely not in communication. Or communication is hardly there. And she misses it, you know. She misses it a lot. You know, she's feeling heartbroken about the situation. And she just want to be happy. The sun is coming back out again. She just really want to be happy, okay. So, let's see. So, um, the best case scenario or possible outcome for the both of them, we had the temperance card, okay? Patience, okay? Balance, healing, okay? There's a need for things for both parties to be patient, okay? Um, somebody is definitely healing right now. There's definitely a need for, you know, balance in the situation for things to balance out. Taking the time that's necessary, that's needed to take to their cells in order for energies to play out. Yeah, and I feel like whatever information that this feminine is getting or receiving here with the page of um, pentacles, whatever information both parties is receiving, okay, because I kind of feel like they, they receive some type of spiritual download, okay, or information from the angels or something like that, spiritual information. Um, they're trying to sort things out and get a better perspective of the information that they're receiving. Okay, in order for, you know, things to grow. So it's pretty much just a waiting game right now, okay, um, in the situation. So I know that currently, you know, some of us is feeling left out in the cold. Um, you know, one partner or the other is feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, you know, feeling a bit insecure in the situation. But I feel like action is definitely going to be taken, okay? Action is about to be taken soon with this page of wants energy. And love is definitely about to be expressed. With this page of cups, okay, and it's going to be an overflowing 
amount of emotions here with this king of um queen of cups okay and it's going to be a reconciliation okay a celebration here but it's just a waiting game right now and being patient okay um yeah so the advice for the divine masculine he has two of them actually his advice is finances and career then i say that and then we have hot to hot conversations so he has finances and career financial issues all affect your love life right now then i say that with him um he's been dealing with a lot of financial issues you know that he's not really good financially here um, so he's more so, you know, worried about those. And so we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Um, honestly, discuss your feelings with each other, okay? Um, so we did see here when the Divine Master was definitely going to be coming forth to express his emotions, you know, um, to this Divine Feminine. And then we have, for the Feminine, is chemistry, okay? And it says, there is a strong magnetic attraction here. That's for certain because... This queen of uh, wands kept popping up all day, okay, throughout this reading. So this feminine is definitely feeling her, you know, in her feminine energy. And, you know, she's feeling attractive. She's coming out of these insecure. Uh, like I said, she could be seesawing between, you know, insecurity one moment, stressing out one one moment, and then the next minute, like, well, you know, what, what else can I do? You know, let me just focus on me. Let me focus on myself. Let me focus on the shit that I need to do. You know, focus on maintaining myself. So... There's definitely a lot of chemistry. Like I said, there's a lot of a lot of sparks flowing through her. I said that at the beginning. You know, she has a lot of passion flowing through her that she kind of wants to unleash, okay? Um, when she meets this divine feminine, I mean, her, her other counterpart when she's back in, um, you know, when she's back together with the other counterpart, you know, in the same area or room or whatever. Um, but more so, you know, she knows that there's a lot of chemistry here in the situation. She knows that she's attractive and she's feeling really confident, you know. We have confidence everywhere, you know, with the, uh, the strength as well. So she's just trying to hold things together and be strong, you know, regardless of how she feels unhappy and, you know, alone. She's making the best of the situation. Okay, so uh, I don't think I really need to call out signs, but uh, I mean, every sign that popped out, all the earth, water, fire, and air signs, all of them showed, so I don't need to really call out those. Um, but yeah, hopefully this um, this reading gave you guys some type of clarity, okay, dealing with your um, situation and your twin flame journey. Um, if the reading resonated, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video.